Lennon and Celtic tonight, it's about huge pride and a return to winning ways against their deadliest rivals. Celtic feared to win this, it would be the first time in a decade that they hadn't won an old firm league fixture. For Champions Rangers to come here and win here at Celtic Park would truly be the icing on the cake. Commentators David Proven and Ian Crocker. Well, Celtic gave a few players a breather against Motherwell with tonight in mind, so there are five changes and there is a surprise. Mark Wilson preferred to Josh Thompson at the back. Lee Naylor, Diamante Camera, Landry Inguemo and Robbie Keane all return. Keane came on to score his 15th Celtic goal of the weekend. He's a big game player. He would dearly love an old firm goal and this will surely be his last chance. Rangers make six changes from the Dundee United game. Walter Smith also rested a few, but there's a more familiar look to his side tonight. With Maci Bouguera still sidelined, Lee McCulloch has to fill in at the back again. With Sasha Papac suspended, Stevie Smith continues at left back. Kyle Lafferty with three goals in the last five games. Partners Kenny Miller, who usually makes his mark on Derby Day in Glasgow. Morton Rasmussen will be hoping for a first taste of the Glasgow derby from the bench. Chris Boyd has only scored once against Celtic in his career. Nacho Novo has a few old firm goals and he'll get a hotter reception than most. These two colossal clubs are oh, ready to continue a feud that has lasted 122 years and it's got some legs in it yet. There may not be too much at stake tonight, but I think we can safely guarantee that it won't look like that. <laughs> I think we'll know within the first five, ten minutes, Ian, just how much either side wants it this evening. Certainly from the, the, the Celtic players' point of view, they will feel, or certainly should feel, the other supporters want tonight. And if Rangers match that determination, this should be a right good watch. Rangers champions of Scotland for the 53rd time. 11 more now than Celtic. Naylor, Keane. Fortuna close by. Unsurprisingly, Keane has been taken out immediately. And also, unsurprisingly, Kevin Thompson was involved. Well, he certainly got there late. And we know that Kevin Thompson likes a tackle. He's a fraction out here. I think it looks worse than it actually was. And to be fair to Robbie Keane, he was up very quickly. He could have made a lot more of that. Always on the stretch there, Kevin Thompson. He's only a fraction out. And to be fair to Robbie Keane, on it, back on his feet immediately when he could have stayed there. Celtic's last chance this season to win an old firm match. Machune forcing Stevie Smith to concede a corner. certainly go down rather well with the majority inside Celtic Park. He nailed his corner and it's a uh, goal kick now. Well, I think it, can, yeah, it came off for Tunic. A really awkward one for Alan McGregor because he takes a big dip towards the front post. Your goalkeeper totally committed. And he's lucky for Tunic. Got a little bit too much on it. Well, Alan McGregor is struggling already and this could be a concern well, it's down to whether it's a knock Ian or whether he's twisted something if he's twisted something here on the landing then that could be bad news for Rangers even this early in the game McGregor's game is over but Neil Alexander will be relishing taking part in another old firm game Alexander played in some very big matches during the running last season and the season before. 
So this is not an occasion that he will be too overcome by. Not quite what he's expecting after five minutes, but Alexander is on for McGregor. A lengthy stoppage early on in this old firm contest. Guemo, Diamanzi, Camera. Sent off in the last old firm game after a clash with Kyle Lafferty. Aidan McGeady challenged by Neil Lennon to prove his worth tonight, and he's got a free kick. Well, they try to let it breathe there, the referee Callum Murray. Clearly had to, to, to bring it back here. It's well late there, Stephen Naismith, and this is certainly within range. It's a nice angle, too, for Lee Neil. Certainly for a left footed player to wrap the inside of his foot around us. An early test here for, for Neil Alexander. straight into the thick of it in the Glasgow derby Naylor's gone for it and it's took it in nickel the way I think Celtic make a storming start as they look to regain some pride well just done by the, the slightest deflection I think it's David Weiner comes off but there is enough pace in the ball that when it glances off him, it totally wrong foot Neil Alexander. I think it is David Weir. Fortuna is right in front of him. But I think it's the Rangers skipper. I think it clips the inside of his left heel. And there is sufficient pace in the ball to leave Alexander absolutely helpless. It's a perfect start for Neil Lennon in his first Old Firm game as a manager. He's hoping it's not his last. Guemo wins it back and wins it well. Oh, and it's going to be another card, is it, surely, for Lee McCulloch? Well, it's a needless one for me. It's not quite a nothing area of the pitch, but it's an area in which Celtic can't really Hut Rangers here, McCulloch's goal side is well placed. And that leaves him with, what, 70 minutes in which he can't afford to miss time another one. Lee McCulloch, the most booked player in the SPL this season, that's his 15th yellow card. He was saying the other week that he only thought that four of them were justified. <laughs> Kenny Miller, bit to do yet, and Boris. Bravely spreads himself and was hurt in the process. Uh, really good save there from Boris, who had to be out quickly. Naismith coming back for more. Kenny Miller snuffed out brilliantly by Mark Wilson. It's time in the match that the two Rangers strikers have really combined together. Kevin Thompson. Stephen Davis. Whittinger calling for it and receiving it. Kenny Miller! You can always rely on him on Derby Day in Glasgow. Oh, yes, you can. Perfect cross from Whitaker. Cracking header from Miller. The champions level. Well, I've got to say, Mark Wilson has had a terrific 42 minutes up until now. But he just loses Kenny Miller here. Kenny Miller on his way already. Mark Wilson caught under the ball. And Kenny Miller still had a lot to do, he has to get so much of his neck into that. And Arthur Boris possibly expecting this to go back across him. And Miller does him near post, terrific header. Kenny Miller has now scored five times for Rangers against Celtic. Approaching the 45 minutes, but a few minutes to be added on. Naylor's cross. Fortune! And it's slipped past Alexander. And Celtic are back in front in a pulsating old firm encounter. Well, a bit like the 
Kenny Miller's header, he had so much to do. And he bullies Stevie Smith at the back post. He makes sure he's off the ground first. He makes sure he's above the range of fullback. And Neil Alexander, well, just slipped through his legs there. He had so little time to react here, the Rangers goalkeeper. I don't think he can, he can blame him. I don't think he can finger him for that. But Fortuny made this his. Physical presence just a little bit too much for Stevie Smith at the back post. And Celtic look as if they're going to go in with the lead at half-time. And ball against Edu. It's half-time. Few. Celtic in front. Lee Naylor's free kick diverted in by David Weir past Neil Alexander, who came on to the injured Adam McGregor. Kenny Miller came up with a familiar old firm goal to level it, but they were not level for long as Mark Antoine Fortuné responded quickly. What a shame we've got to stop for 15 minutes. It was just getting good. Half time, Celtic 2, Rangers 1. they carry on from where they left off at the end of the first half there is every chance Celtic twice in front a customary old firm goal in between for Kenny Miller and we've been waiting for Kyle Lafferty to join us Celtic were kept waiting for a while in fact by Rangers but it's the champions who start the second half on enemy territory Naylor. Lee McCulloch, who is one of the players on a yellow card. Kevin Thompson, the other for Rangers. And Diamanzi Camera for Celtic. And you do get the feeling there's a red card coming along <laughs> at some point. Yeah, I'm not surprised Mr Nicholas made that uh, forecast. They let me know enough about this game to, to appreciate how feisty it might be in the second half. Last time they're going to see each other for a while, although there is talk about a friendly in Boston. Yes, I hope Boston realises what they're heading themselves in for as Stevie Smith needlessly boots that away for a corner. Well, Neil Alexander obviously gave him a shout here that, that he had time. Whether or not Stevie Smith heard him, I don't know. Perhaps in this atmosphere, he didn't. Lee Naylor, the late challenge on Naismith. Kenny Miller, could be in again. It's diverted for a corner. Well, Kenny Miller at his very best. And there have been times this season Celtic have been a little bit too soft in the central area. And I think this is a decent example of it. That is too easy for Kenny Miller. Much too easy. Out number two to one. And eventually Mark Wilson, really on the stretch, does just enough to deny him. Otto Boric is uh, struggling for Celtic. More on that in a moment as Davis sends that in. The Rangers have already lost Adam McGregor and Boric has not looked too comfortable enough to taking that knock at the end of the first half. Again, I think I think Celtic take a chance, allowing Lee McCulloch a run at the ball. It just clears Lee McCulloch, but at set pieces, he's getting a free run and a free jump. Well, how ironic is this? Adam McGregor stretched it off in the early stages of the game and now... Arthur Boric is having to go up as well, so we've got both backup goalkeepers on, and Lucas Zaluska will get a taste of this old home experience. Colic for Whittaker. Miller, Edu, Kenny Miller. Terrific chance, terrific chance. Once again, he gets half a yard to Mark Wilson. Look at Kenny Miller's movement here. As he knocks it down, he's already on his way. And on the full volley, Kenny Miller will feel he should be working to Luska there. His movement tonight really has been different class, Kenny Miller. Thankless task, often up there on his own. That's another corner then from Lee Naylor. Scott Brown headed over 
Well, Lee McCulloch saying I'm left completely exposed at the back post. Two against one at the back post here. What are you doing? Doing just enough to put Scott Brown off. He'll look favourite to score there. Neil Lennon can't quite believe he didn't. Novo wanted that typically. Now Davis. That was deflected and Zaluska reacted superbly. Oh, he certainly did. The deflection was enough to to Fox Neil Alexander and almost enough here to beat the Celtic goalkeeper. Dan the D preoccupied with the run from Kenny Kenny Miller doesn't get out to the ball. And that's a very decent save. Miller punches upon it. Nacho Novo! Kenny Miller against the post, incredibly. Oh, quite unbelievable. Rangers looking for handball. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Callum Murray could have spotted this because he wouldn't have allowed an advantage. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan Lede's left arm is away from his body. He's seen them given for that. How much Callum Murray saw of it, I'm not quite sure. Here. I think he felt that the Aidan McGee felt what he could initially. Well, I'll tell you what, from that angle, there's very little contact there. Looked as if he had caught Aidan McGee, there's practically no contact at all. It's over. Neil Lennon wins his first game as. Manager, first old firm game. We'll be hoping it's not his last, that's for sure. Time will tell. All the goals came in the first half. Celtic were certainly hungry tonight, but then they had to be. There was absolutely no other option after the season they've had. A wretched season, an awful season, really, but something to smile about tonight at least. On a night when both sub goalkeepers were called upon. Rangers weren't level for long. And Mark Antoine Fortuné's goal proved decisive. David Weir diverting Lee Naylor's free kick in for the opener. Kenny Miller equalised. Trust him to score an old firm goal. This night may belong to Celtic, but this season belongs to Rangers. Neil, many congratulations. Did Celtic as a club deserve that? I thought so. I thought the, the team were magnificent, the work ethic. Played very well in patches, I thought. Our ball retention at times could have been better. Um, and you could see the goal coming from Rangers because they were giving the ball away. We were forcing it at times, but overall, they were magnificent tonight. Neil or Fortuny, the goal scorers, big contributions, Keane, big contribution, and Guemo. But it's not fair to single people out. You know, it was a great team effort, like, you know, not just from the, the 11 that started, but the subs who came on as well. Walter, you've won nine championships with Rangers. Can you remember many old firm games here at Celtic Park where Rangers have had so many chances? Uh, well, not in the first half of the game. Oh, yeah, no, I felt that Celtic started very brightly. We committed far too many fouls that pinned us back um, in our own half. And we never really got going in the first half. The first concerted bit of possession that we had, we managed to get the, a goal which got us back into the game and then proceeded to give another one away, which, uh, you know, from our point of view, was... Um, it was a poor goal, but, uh, you know, first half of the game, Celtic deserved the lead. Um, turning around in the second half, I felt we played far better in the second half of the game. We kept the ball a little bit better, we played better, we created more opportunities. And, you know, from our own point of view, just disappointed that we never managed to get back in level terms. Seven consecutive SPL wins. Now, you've won an old firm game for the first time this season for Celtic. Do you deserve this job for keeps? Deserve it? I don't know. I mean, it's up to the, the powers that be. But do you feel you deserve it? It's a good question. Um, I, I feel I've I've done enough. Like you know, I've done as much as I've, I've been asked to do, apart from getting us to the cup final. Obviously, not been happy with uh, a lot of the speculation about who's coming to get the job. It's sort of undermined my position a wee bit and made things a wee bit harder. You know, in preparation for the game. But I suppose that's par for the course up here. 
Have Peter Lowell and Dermot Desmond in particular given you any clues about your future? No, none whatsoever. But they've always maintained and I've always stated that they won't make the decision until the end of the season. Do you feel now though, that you've put up a real case? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's seven wins in a row in the, in the league, so I don't think you could do much better than that. Do you feel as well that you've done everything that's been asked of you? You've got the best out of the players? I don't know. I mean, that's for other people to, to decide. All I, all I, you know, the players have given me everything. Um, I did question their, their character after Ross County, and they've, they've come back in spades, you know, and um, they've shown real application, commitment to the club quality football and they've dug in them when they've needed to so as far as the players are concerned they've, they've been magnificent in the last few weeks. Rangers uh, potential new owner said some very positive things last night including about yourself Walter are you more optimistic about the, the future of Rangers now? I don't know because um, you know in the end I've never spoken to uh, a chap who, who has mentioned uh, that I don't know he can say what he likes about me but I would be obliged if he would speak to me um, before he mentions anything else uh, in the newspapers again. Um, and I agree with Sir David Murray. If somebody's going to come and take over the club, then do so. Instead of talking about it in the newspapers. Walter, thank you. Thank you. So, three points for Celtic and Rangers lead cut to eight now at the top of the SPL. But Rangers were champions anyway going into this. More live action coming your way on Sky Sports on Wednesday. Motherwell against Hibs from Fir Park, 7.30, Sky Sports, HD3 and 3. The battle for fourth spot in the SPL and that Europa League place that goes with it. And then on Saturday, it's a scrap to beat the drop from the SPL. It's Kilmarnock against Falkirk, high noon, Sky Sports, HD3 and 3. Here at Celtic Park, it was 2-1 to Celtic. What next for Neil Lennon? Bye for now. I need something.